At the start of the medicals, the candidates go through basic but very important tests like blood, ECG, blood pressure, hearing, dental and lung capacity tests. These are conducted to ensure that the individuals meet all the basic medical standards set by the Navy. For the lucky five who go on to become part of Mission Navy, being medically fit will play an important role as the tasks designed for them by the Navy will test them to the limits of their mental and physical endurance. Next, the contestants have to undergo a forced whisper test 36. where their ability to hear clearly and correctly will be tested. From a distance of 6 meters, different numbers will be whispered at varying pitches while a scratching sound in the ear distracts the candidates. Well, there are probably two reasons for this. And the main reason being that if they choose to go into a diving branch or they go into the anti-submarine warfare branch where they'd have to listen on communication headsets and identify different sound frequencies. The hearing capability of the operator plays a very important role because the operator has to distinguish what is the shaft rate of the submarine, blade rate of the submarine. The air traffic controllers also need very good hearing and uh, for the air crew it's of importance because they're exposed to a lot of noise so we'd like to have a baseline hearing assessment for them. 97. 96. If the candidate is unable to hear force whisper at a distance of around 6 meters, we get a generally very good indication that he has a defective hearing. The Navy follows a very uh, stringent standards of color perception. Night landing on a deck is a complicated but crucial task performed by naval pilots. During landing, pilots rely heavily on the colored lamps used for signaling by the marshal who guides them in. We don't have an ILS over here. We are just begging on this one single light on which we are going to base the safety of the aircraft. In the night, you will not be able to make out the colors. For that, it's important to be sharp and observant and also have a very accurate vision. The contestants are then put through a Martin Lantern test which tests their ability to be observant and detect primary colors in a darkened room at a distance of six meters. This is because color perception and the ability to distinguish primary colors is important in every branch of the Navy. B H H O uh, B U C. We found that she was not reading the last line completely. So, and she has a small refractive error. To ensure that each candidate is capable of carrying out underwater operations, a special test is conducted for Mission Navy, the hyperbaric chamber test. Marine medicine is the field of medicine which basically deals with man under pressure. As one goes down, for every 10 meters that one descends into, into the sea, the pressure increases by 1 kg per centimeter square, which basically means your body is under thrice the pressure which is there on surface. Naval divers have to perform duties and carry out complicated operations underwater. The ability to withstand pressure and carry out the operations calmly and thoroughly, even at great depths, becomes very essential. In the hyperbaric chamber tests, candidates will be pressurized to a depth of 10 meters to check whether they are able to withstand and cope with this pressure. You have to continuously, you have to, uh, you know, breathe regularly. The pressure is going to build up on the eardrums, so you need to equalize this pressure or the eardrums uh, will burst. Keeping all these reasons in, uh, things in mind, fitness for a diver is of paramount importance, not merely to become a diver, but also to maintain.